is, is not something that you may find in, in a lot of the students, you know, that they're going through this and experience this thing right here. Fortunately for her, she had, you know, she has that within herself and then she had a support system around her to help her to be able to navigate her way through this. And, you know, then they brought down the standards and stuff like that, you know, even set roadblocks when she got back into somewhat into the system. Now she's saying that, you know, she's not been able to experience a lot of things that she would normally have experienced as a senior who had a determined mindset to excel in the things that she was in school to uh, accomplish. So there was a whole lot that goes into that process. But what I really like to do is, is be able to identify to your audience mm -hmm. uh, here how they can get in touch with Gideon's Army and the Peace Project so that we can create some partnerships and move this thing forward. Ms. Petrucco, why don't you uh, give us that information about how people might be able to get in touch with you and, and how they might be able to help you in order to uh, perhaps make this a much broader operation than you have. Thank you. Um, our phone number is 615-852-7530. And our email address is one army united. That's O N E Army United at gmail.com. And so they can get in touch with you, and you've got some information that you can send out to them and uh, sort of encourage them uh, to, do, to, to do other things. Is that what you're saying? Yes, we have got work. We are mm -hmm. going to, if you call us, we are going to put you to work. There are mm -hmm. so many things to do from voter registration to volunteering with young people to hosting events. I mean, there's so many different things that, that can be done, so. Pastor, final comments. You know, and we need that help. We need that help. We need it from people who have children in the school system who are experiencing that. We need that help from people that have children in the school system who are not experiencing that. We need voices from both sides of this thing mm -hmm. because this is so important because it's affecting uh, our children, and if it affects our children, it's going to affect the whole of society. Because after all, we're saying that the children are our future. So if the children are our future, seem like we will want to be actively involved in nourishing our future so that we can have a hope. So I'm encouraging people to get involved. Call, call the number. You know, get involved with uh, Gideon's Army, and, and let's make a difference. Let's do something instead of just sitting around complaining and talking about our youth. I mean, our youth are caught up in the school system, man. They're putting them on all kind of ADHD medication. Dr. Hainan, when I was an intravenous drug user in the prison system, I used to, I used to shoot Ritalin. Mm -hmm. you know, we call it bail, you know, get out on it. And they're giving this to our school children because they simply don't want to take time out to figure out how they can teach that child. So they send them, rush them out somewhere, mislabel them as having some type of situation going on with them, and then poison them with all them drugs all the rest of their lives. Very good. And of course, let me thank the three of you for coming by and giving us that excellent information. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of comments. Thank you and good morning.